In early August of 2011, England experienced a wave of riots that shocked the country and cost millions of pounds worth of property damage and looted goods. People from across the country in a variety of backgrounds flocked to the streets to brazenly confront police. Rioters showed no regard for the rule of law as they ransacked shops and torched cars and buildings in numerous boroughs. The surprisingly violent riots challenged law enforcement's ability to maintain situational awareness. And the widespread nature of the riots have since left journalists, researchers, and politicians with the task of explaining the root causes of the riots. In this presentation, Prussian Analytics utilizes the Palantir Information Analytic Platform to showcase the geospatial and temporal elements of 388 riot incidents and 976 alleged rioters throughout England. Leveraging Kapow, a web collection technology that enables users to get any data from any website anywhere in the world, analysts from Prussian Analytics explore an exhaustive database based entirely on open source public information from reputable sources such as The Guardian and the BBC. While every effort has been taken to ensure the accuracy and completeness of the data, we recognize that there are limitations to our database. Throughout the course of our research, we remained conscious to only include alleged rioters who were apprehended by the police and who have been or will be put on trial for their alleged riot activities. On the evening of August 4, 2011, suspected gang member Mark Duggan was shot and killed by police in a North London borough. News of Duggan's death quickly spread throughout the Tottenham community, igniting resentment toward the police. This incident proved to be the spark that led to the events seen on the graph. To analyze the events geospatially, watch as I easily drag the events from the graph to the map. Creating a temporal filter in the timeline helper to spotlight certain events, we can see how the violence metastasizes, first across the London metropolitan area and then throughout the populated areas of Liverpool, Manchester, and Birmingham. To view the concentration of the five day long ride holistically, the heat map helper enables us to see that the areas of Camberwell, Croydon, and Herringeen suffered the highest amount of incidents. In Palantir, it is often the case that two helpers work in tandem with one another, allowing unique types of analysis. An example of this is the heat map and histogram helpers. The histogram gives us a top-down view of selected objects and breaks them down by properties. Note that riot incidents are classified by types such as looting, vehicle destruction, and fire. By selecting riot incidents of specific types with the heat map activated, we can see how they are distributed. For instance, note how looting is spread throughout all of London, whereas fires are concentrated in the Tottenham area. This makes sense as Tottenham is where Duggan was killed, making riot crimes of protests such as fires and clashes with police more prominent in that area. This is in contrast to looting, a riot crime of opportunity, which is concentrated in the shopping districts. Now that we've explored how the riots evolved and spread throughout the country, let's use Palantir's search and discovery tools to see if there are any interesting connections between Mark Duggan and riot events in different parts of the country. Conducting a search around of linked entities to view his relationships on the graph, we learn that he is the nephew of Desmond Noonan, a now deceased hitman for his family's crime firm in Manchester. Looking closer at the summary of his dossier in the selection helper, we can see that he has three brothers. Given that his crime firm was a family business, it makes sense to look at his brothers. A search around of events related to the brothers yields two results for Dominic Noonan, a career criminal and crime boss in Manchester. The events are Dominic's arrest and trial due to his participation in the Manchester riots. Playing a video of Noonan directly from the media tab, we can see evidence of his presence at the riots. While not definitive evidence of wrongdoing, this short investigation uncovered an interesting connection between Duggan and the Manchester riots. In Section 2, Prussian Analytics leverages data currently available on the riots to arrive at newly founded conclusions about the root causes of the riots. Before exploring the various causes of the riots, we first need to lay the groundwork for our analysis by using Palantir's organic statistical visualization tools. This is a map overlay in the Layers Helper that maps the official administrative boroughs of London. Running a polygon search and bringing all locations of rioters' origins and riot events to the map 
we can now create metadata within our imported layer to geospatially analyze demographic and economic trends of the riots. In order to show the distribution of rioters throughout the boroughs, as well as the number of riot events that occurred in each borough, we use the derive function, which creates metadata based on Palantir objects. Utilizing our newly created metadata for rioters per borough and dividing it by the population, we derive a third piece of metadata that takes into account population distribution called rioters per 1,000 people. Why is targeting local people? Now we can see the distribution of rioters' origin by coloring the layer. Everyone was just going to riot, just go mad, like chucking things, chucking bottles. Note that Lambeth is home to the largest number of rioters in proportion to the population in the south, and that Hackney leads the north. That is the government's fault. Taking a snapshot and adding it to our current view allows us to compare this map with any future maps. Showing the police we can do what we want. Yeah, that's what it's all about, showing the police we can do what we want, and now we have. So do you reckon it will go on tonight? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. hopefully. We can also view the distribution of riot incidents by borough using the same method. It's the rich people. So it's the rich people, the people that have got businesses, and that's why all of this has happened, because the rich people. So we're just showing the rich Now we can see that there was some migration from Lambeth to Southwark in the south, and from Hackney to Herringy in the north. Now let's turn our attention back to exploring the causes of the riots. Some have suggested that the riots can be explained by a lack of connection to their communities. To test the strength of the connection, we'll use the new local government network's Big Society Score, which is based on volunteer and civic engagement percentages, as well as a sense of belonging. Are you been drinking all night? Yeah. Looking at the colorized map, the areas of Kensington and Chelsea and Richmond upon Thames have the highest Big Society Score which means that people in those boroughs feel more connected to their community. If community detachment is a cause of propensity to riot, then areas with a lower big society score will have a high number of rioters. Examining the two maps, the boroughs of Croydon, Lambeth, and Southwark, which all have proportionally high numbers of rioters, actually have middle to low big society scores. Uniquely, the borough of Hackney shares both a high number of rioters and a high big society score. This anomaly could be explained by its proximity to the location of Duggan's shooting. So there appears to be loose correlation between Big Society score and rioter origin. However, too many areas don't fit the model for this to be a complete explanation. Since their outbreak in August 2011, the prevailing explanation for the riots has been economic hardship. Looking at the overall economic score, it is clear that this factor is not a sufficient indicator to identify the propensity of people to riot especially regarding Croydon. These color patterns don't closely match the patterns in our riot origins map in the right hand corner. Considering the more granular factor of employment deprivation, our analysis shows that this is a compelling indicator of why certain boroughs were home to more rioters than others. The north-south pattern from Enfield to Croydon is clear in both maps and matches almost perfectly. In the previous two sections, we have sought to use the unique analytic capabilities of prescient analytics and the innovative open source collection tools of Kapow Software in tandem with the Palantir Analytic Platform to add to the research and discussions surrounding the UK riots of 2011. To find out more about Palantir, visit palantir.com. To get more information on Kapow's open source collection software, visit kapowsoftware.com. And to learn more about Prescient Analytics, please visit prescientanalytics.com.